Wow. So I started remembering a, a couple stuff. It's almost as if I started the last video like this. I was kind of thinking again, I was here editing, doing my stuff, you know, here at my desk. As I'm thinking, I'm like, what's the stupidest way a relationship of mine almost, you know, broke off? Easily, the one that came to mind was one where I almost broke up with, I, I'm not gonna mention the individual's name, mainly because they might watch this video, just to save her the grief. I'm not gonna mention her name. It was the time we almost broke up for the pronunciation of a word. Yeah, a word. You might be thinking, how is it that you guys almost broke up with it? Uh, broke everything off because of this. Let me explain. What happened was that my friends and I, we were in the main hall of our school where we usually hang out every single morning. My girlfriend decided to come on in, you know, you know, hugs, kisses, hey, what's up, how's everyone doing, all that good stuff. I don't know, out of nowhere, Mike, my, my buddy Mike, you've seen him before, his dad had something going on at his place where he's like, hey guys, we're gonna be serving, um, you know, salmon, we're gonna be serving crawfish or crayfish, whatever. And a bunch of other seafood for us to eat. He was inviting for us to go, and that's when she said, Oh, you guys are going to make salmon? It's salmon, not salmon. So then she said this. It kind of frustrated me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of looked at her and was like, What do you mean? And she's like, What do you mean what I mean? He's gonna make salmon. And I was like, I think you mean salmon. And she says, No, it's salmon. And then our group of friends starts to part way with each other. So this side of the hall said salmon. This other side of the hall said salmon. And then from that point on, it was just our group of friends broke into this argument because of this. And at one point, I decided, you know what? This just isn't even worth my time. I'm not going to argue this. So I'm just going to let it go. And it's like... You might have thought, you know, you didn't have to argue this. This particular individual, like, it's not to say that it's a bad thing about her, but she has this thing where she has to be right or she has to win all the time. And so she said, no, 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 we're going to check to see who's right and who's wrong or whatever. We start to get other students involved and we start to ask them what they think it is as they're passing around the hallway. It was honestly very dumb. But I wasn't gonna go out like that either. So after she started bringing in a bunch of people into the conversation, I decided to do the same thing, but I took it a step further. I started to ask teachers. Yeah, those educated individuals. Oh, you know it's on with your boy. I start to ask them, how do you think it's pronounced? And a lot of them said salmon because they're smart. They've been to college. This lady hasn't been yet. They say that it's salmon not salmon until one teacher decides you can pronounce them both ways i swear we kept a scoreboard and everything there were about seven teachers that said that it could be pronounced as or it is pronounced as salmon there was then one teacher that said you pronounce it salmon and then another teacher that said you could pronounce it both ways she stuck on to the teacher that said you could pronounce it both ways so that it could be like okay yeah like we we can both be wrong or right. I wasn't going out like that. Oh, hell no, I wasn't going out like that. Damn. I started going on about it. I'm not gonna lie. Since she started off being that way, she had to be right. And I was like, nah, 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 now nah, we win. Or now we're gonna win, so you deal with it. It turns into this big fuss, and straight up, she walks away. She walks away from me. She's excruciatingly pissed. I mean, this is the worst I've ever seen her at, the, at this point of our relationship. It was actually really bad. I thought, haha, I win, right? It's one of those arguments. I don't talk to her. I don't text her. And she doesn't do the same thing for the rest of the day. It was until later that day, Mike was like, hey, are we all going to go to that one thing at my place? And I told him, yes, of course we're gonna go. And it was Gabriel, myself, at my place. Mike was hanging out with my girlfriend. And after we're here chilling at my place, we're just waiting for Mike. But little did I know, I didn't know that my girlfriend was with him. And some of you guys might think, yo, what the heck is your friend doing with your girl? Honestly, like with Gabe and Mike, I've grown like this level of trust with them. I have no problem with them hanging out with my girlfriend. And aside from that, I had a huge level of trust for her and I, you know, we were so close like that, that I didn't have a problem. So it was honestly just a win-win for me since I trusted both parties. They showed up to my house and I was like, okay, what is she doing here? 
And I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to sweat it. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I'm just going to live my life in my house. And she's not going to do anything to disturb me. If she wants to talk to me, fine. If she does it, no problem. We all decide, you know what? We're going to play a couple games or something and wait it out until the thing starts. So I was here playing my games. Gabe and Mike were listening to music while she was on her phone. Then we decided we're all going to play Uno. So we were playing Uno. She paid no attention to me whatsoever. She didn't even look at me. And I thought if she doesn't want to do it, I'm not going to do it either. I'm not going to fall for it. Hell no. And it just got really awkward at one point because it was as if Mike and her would have their own conversation, Gabe and I would have our own conversation, and Gabe and Mike would have their conversation, and it was as if like her and I were non-existent to each other. She was that pissed over this situation. And so then Mike was like, hey, I think we're gonna go ahead and take off and we'll meet you guys there. And I was like, all right, that's fine. So she proceeds to leaving, and as she's leaving, she doesn't say a word to me at all. Like, she doesn't even look at me. I tell her, like, I call her out on it. And I was like, so you're not even going to say bye or thanks for having me over or not nothing like that? Yeah, it was a douchebag thing, but I was really mad at her. I call her out on it, and she kind of just shrugs. And she doesn't think it's that big of a deal, which it probably wasn't because we were in an argument. You know, it makes sense to be that way. She kind of shrugs, and I think, you know what? Fine, you can be like that. I was kind of being the woman in all this, but, you know, nonetheless, like, I actually did get upset about that. And after that, you know, her and Mike get in the car, Mike is telling her to calm down because things are starting to get a little bit heated. That's when I was, like, Mike yelling at him from the porch, like, hey, Mike, he rolls down his window, and I tell him, why don't you bring me some salmon? At that point, she got really upset, started, you know, to cry, apparently. And Mike, honestly, he, he dropped her off at his place. He came back and he called me out on it big time. Honestly, he was really pissed. She didn't really want to talk to me. Long story short, I didn't end up going to that event and they, them too, they stayed. So after that happened, it was a Saturday that passed by. We didn't talk to each other at all. And just, you know, there was some time that we didn't talk. It was until Sunday I thought, you know what, I actually do miss her and I, I want to talk to her. And when I started like, you know, talking to her and everything, she was saying how... You know, she couldn't believe I didn't text her, I didn't call her. She got really upset. She was really upset about this matter. Please understand that. We talked it out, we fixed things, and it ended up getting a whole lot better. And now we look, or not now, right? Because we, we aren't together anymore, I guess you could say. We would look at this, and I'd, I'd kind of tease her about it. I'd be like, hey, you remember when we always broke up because of how you pronounced salmon? And then she would low-key, like, damn, she was messed up now that I think about it. She would low-key say, you pronounce it salmon. Now be like, oh, we ain't starting this shit. Like, I am not about to go out like this again. It's whatever. It all finished, you know. It, it doesn't matter at this point anymore. But legit, that's the stupidest argument I've ever had. And just, I don't know. You pronounce it salmon, not salmon.